Pacinezumab is the first monoclonal antibody targeting aggregated alpha-synuclein, and we presented here the latest data on the Pasadena study, where we compared the, is, uh, the, the progression of Parkinson's disease of people treated with Pacinezumab for three years versus uh, a real-world data population where uh, we had the, the progression of the disease without any treatment. And um, it's an exciting time because we know that uh, aggregated alpha synuclein is present in the body, in the CSF of patients. We have new biomarker assay that tell us that. And uh, we tested the, the hypothesis that by binding the aggregated alpha synuclein, the progression of Parkinson's disease might be slower. And um, the data showed today at the MDS Congress uh, are um, a confirmation of the hypothesis that uh, there is the possibility that prasinezumab by slow motor progression of Parkinson's disease. But this is a continuation of a phase two study that had then five years open label extension. Here we shared the first three years and we compare people that were treated with prasinezumab for three years that we call early start versus people that were treated for prasinezumab with two years that the first year were on the placebo. All of them were compared with the external arm from the PPMI study, that is a large observational study where we were able to match the patient at baseline. And uh, we found that patients that were treated with prasinezumab uh, declined much less. This is uh, extremely encouraging. And uh, we are running currently another uh, large randomized controlled trial where we try to confirm this hypothesis.